Ah, here we go. A fresh new world with a fresh new series. But hold on a second. It's not quite the truth now, is it? Ah, thanks, Titanosaur, giving me a mighty old headache with this shake of the head right now. Uh, yeah, welcome, everybody, to, I guess, episode one, part two. Uh, the redo, the remake, the restructure, reloaded, rebound, re-everything. Because, uh, well... Things didn't go coins planned yesterday. If you tuned into episode one, part one, uh, we died and died and died some more upon every single spawn point we possibly could and just got annihilated everywhere. Unfortunately, it's time to restart. It's right time to rethink things. In fact, rethink things is exactly what we're doing. This world is not the world you saw yesterday. We are indeed in a different world. For those of you who know your arc maps, you would know this. And that has nothing to do with the fact I got my butt whooped. And I'm probably about to get my butt whooped by this Titanosaur currently stopping around behind me. No, the reason we are in a brand spanking new world currently is because that last one was just an absolute lag fest. And I couldn't get it to stop lagging. So here we are. Hopefully this one, uh, other than the removal of lag, will bode us a bit more success. At least so far, the beach is looking a little calmer. So that's a pretty good start unless this OV Raptor wants to eat me, but no. No, no, no. He's uh, far more interested in eggs rather than people. I also went and fixed my harvest settings. So we are actually harvesting things the way they're meant to be harvested now. So that is just a fantastic shift. And uh, yeah, that's really all that's happened between yesterday and now. If you do enjoy the video, though, please go ahead and punch that thumbs up. Punch it so darn hard with the power of the Titanosaur's stomp. Look, just, just give me a minute, all right? Be back with you on a sec. Today, we're gonna trade in our dinosaurs for a sec. We're gonna swap them out for some tanks, some warships, some airplanes, whatever you want, the choice is yours. Thanks to the sponsor of today's video, War Thunder. Whether it's land, air, or sea, War Thunder is the place to be. If you're looking for the ultimate vehicular warfare experience, then this is it. Choose from over 2,000 different tanks, planes, helicopters, and ships spanning all the way back from the 1920s to now in dynamic air, sea, and land PvP battles. And much like the ability to fight by air, land, or sea, you can also play across PC, PlayStation, or Xbox. Every vehicle in War Thunder has incredible detail modeled right down to the individual components. And you you can apply hundreds of different camouflages, place historical markings, or even 3D decorations on your vehicles to truly make them your own. I just love the variety of vehicles War Thunder puts at your fingertips, especially the aircrafts. There's just nothing that beats the thrill of flying through the skies, except maybe anti-air defenses. So go download War Thunder right this second using my special link in the description. You'll get your hands on a free bonus pack with some premium vehicles, premium access, boosters, and much, much more. Anyways, let's go. We got some things to do. We got resources to collect and we got some tools to uh, to, to, to collect. Um, I need some stones because I'm going to need some, some some hatchets for the 14th time this, uh, this, this series already. Now, yesterday, uh, we basically got as far as crafting a pickaxe and a hatchet. And today, hopefully we can exceed that. Hopefully we can get some weapons. Hopefully we can even tame a dinosaur. In fact, uh, hold on a second. We got some levels here to allocate. Still level eight from yesterday. So that's a good start. But let's, let's, let's get some extra health because we're probably going to need it pretty soon. So straight up to level 10. Pretty good start. We can get ourselves the primal smithy already. And with that... I'm sure we can get a bunch of other stuff. We can get bows. We can get all sorts of stuff. So let's um let's 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 do this and see if we can actually make some progress. We might even be able to score ourselves a base if we're lucky. But hey, look, I don't want to get too excited. I don't want to get too ahead of myself. All it takes is a single little tiny dinosaur to like nibble this guy's toes, and this guy is gonna level the entire beach. So we're gonna. Well, well, let's just hope that that doesn't kind of happen because that would be really atrocious. Now, I would like to get my hands on some of these spears again. The spear that I spent half an hour trying to acquire yesterday. We're hopefully going to do in the first few minutes today. Um, thing is, probably going to need a few of them. So let's try and get a few of them. Um, let's get some more berries, actually, too. Need some Naka berries because I would, like I said... I would like some some multiple of these spears. Spears have a tendency to break when you poke things with them. And um, I don't really want to break all my spears midway through trying to knock something out. You know what I mean? So we'll see what we can do there. I'm pretty sure I've got enough to get another one of those. While we're at it, let's get a head. Hat. A hat for our head, rather. Let's get some leggings for our legs. Not leggings. Pants. What is this? We're not going to the gym. We're not some athleisure 
fit model fitness model what am i trying to say i don't even know but um we got some pants we got a hat maybe some boots just to tie it all up and we shall be laughing i think we should also get settled with a settlement you know that's just somewhere to live just a foundation really and a bed would be fantastic but um let's just let's just take it one step at a time i think for the time being a bow will not enough feel safe down here. It is, it's a 1.8. That's the size of this guy. He is about 80% bigger than the average Titan. That's insane. Okay, I thought he looked big. And it turns out, yeah, he's just about max size. As big as a dinosaur is probably going to... Actually, no. There are going to be dinosaurs far bigger than him in this world. Uh, but since he's over here, I'm going to go over this way instead. Because I just want to distance myself from that. That that gargantuan of a, of a beat. No, just... Can you just walk in a different direction, please? Because you, you, you shaking up my screen. It's, I mean, it's making me kind of dizzy. I'm seeing a few little dudes down this way. A few little dodies. Is that a friendly dodo? I, yeah, okay. It's not a nuka dodo. It is a little baby tiny one, though. He's kind of cute. Level 540. Interesting. Um, all right. Let's just, let's just, let's just start by killing this tiny little dialo over here. Hey, little dudes. You're just a regular old level 520. No. Ah, oh, great. Good start. All right, fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We'll be okay. We'll be fine. As long as we don't get nibbled. Stop shooting me with your poison. I can't dodge it. I'm too slow, okay? Uh, we might be here. Oh, yes. Oh, wait. I might actually knock this thing out. There's no way he's close to... Oh, Ichi Thorn has stole my seeds. <laughs> you think I care? Uh, no, I do not. But, hey, the Dialo is asleep and the... What? Did you just... Okay, go away, please. I'm actually going to die to when Ichi Thorn is picking my pockets. Ichi, can you go and attack that Titan, please? Because, well, I, I want you to kind of just die while nibbling his toes. I feel like that'd be a pretty good end to you. Okay, well, things aren't really working out around here. The beach is covered with my arch nemesis, these stinking little seagulls. Um, hey, buddy. Are you just a regular Tyranodon? You are just a really big variant. Um, all right, I'm going to need some extra health. So let's go and grab that. I would like to see what I can do with that little Dilo, though. I don't know if he's rideable. But I don't know. I feel like it'd be like may maybe a containment. And maybe you could uh, do. <laughs> Watch your feet. Watch where you're walking. Also, defense unit over there. I don't know what he's shooting at. Oh, he just took down a seagull. Dude, we could be best friends. Oh, <gasps> this guy is going to kill me if he comes any closer. But I feel like we would get along. We seem to have a hatred for beach birds. And I feel like we could bond over that. I feel like we could be good old buddies. Um, hey, attack the Titan. That'd be nice. It actually would be kind of nice. I know it sounds ironic. A second ago, I was kind of worried about that outcome. But now that I think about it, if the Titan would like destroy this beach, I would be able to just harvest all the dinosaurs I want. We'd get set up with a nice little bit of loot, kind of like I'm about to do by taking down this toxic carbo. Thank you for the toxic hide there, friend. Along with Tyranodon. Well, you know what? A little bit of hide. Easy hide. I'll take it. The dude is literally clearing the beach of seagulls for me right now. This is the best. Did he kill the Dilo? Oh my goodness. I did not think hard enough about that. <laughs> well, there we go. Okay. Our first death in this new world. Um, not good. Also, did I just see what I think I saw behind me? Yeah, it's another... Okay, I don't know what one of those things is, but I know what this guy is. I got chased by one of these guys and killed by one yesterday. Um, what, what is that over there in the water? It's firing rockets. Okay. Um, this parasaur is really quick, by the way. I thought I could outrun this thing yesterday, but I think because it's smaller, it's actually... Oh, I'm going to get... I'm smacked. I'm, I'm dead. There's no way I could... Look, look at this. I'm stuck between a bunch of tech dudes. They're all going to kill me. Oh, there we go. That's it. I can't run and I can't run any further. It was only level 80 as well. But a primal tech parasaur. Well, he, he, he managed to managed to stop us. So why am I seeing things on? Why is the Titan on fire? What? <gasps> hold on. Okay, this is actually kind of exciting here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Go away, defense unit. I want to live to see this. Um... want to see this dude the titan just got turned to jelly he got like j j just jellified turned into gelatinous blubber 
Um, and our beach is covered in dead bodies currently. The big old Titan. It would be nice to harvest that right about now. But I'm going to go and get my stuff. I think this body over here is the body that has my stuff on it. Who even knows? It's pretty much just take your pick right now. Yeah, it's definitely in this one. So we at least get our tools back. I'm pretty sure my arm is busted. It is. You better believe it is. I don't know why I'm repairing it. This is going to break in a single hit again. Um, but hopefully my spread of dead bodies around this beach is enough to keep all these wild, vicious beings busy while I run this way. I don't know what's over here, but it's not over there. And that's about all I need right this second. Yeah, I need to get away from that area. Now that the Titan's gone, I kind of I kind of wish it wasn't. But damn, it's like, it's like a beached whale. He's just going to sit there forever, just slowly decaying. Dinosaurs are going to feed from him. It's, yeah, the poor dude. Anyways, let's move on to bigger and better things, hey? I see a parasaur up the beach over here. And I'm feeling like I might be able to tame it. It doesn't look like an alpha. If it is, it's going to attack me. So let's hope that it isn't. But I think it's just a regular, regular parasaur. I unfortunately can't um, passively tame it. So... The question is, can I get a bowler? The answer is yes. I sure can. So, probably going to need a few of these. But I'm going to try and knock this thing out. It's a level 520 Parasaur. It's nothing groundbreaking. But I can tame it. Or at least I should be able to. We'll see what... Ha wait. Wait, what? I can't... I, I can't... I can't bowler a Parasaur? Well, that's new, I guess. Damn, okay. Fine. Is what it is. Um, I should probably get another bowler then. Let's, let's craft up another bowler. Can I get another? I can't get another bowler. I need some stones. All right, let me get some stones and we'll see what else we can do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get wrecked by a dialer right now, aren't I? No, I don't want to get wrecked by a dialer. I don't want to get wrecked at all. I just want to do something great. I want to be great. Why is this game making it so hard for me to be great? <laughs> Come on, bowler. There we go. Um, that's a big old Ovi Raptor. That's a small little dialer here. Um, I don't know if I should focus on just trying to kill this little dude. Okay, something's dying. Yep, more gelatinous bodies just flinging all over the shop. There is this little Dilo over here. And by little, he's actually kind of big. He's just a regular Dilo. He's gonna, he's coming to me. All right, come out here. Come out the water. All right, that worked. All right, what are you? You're a level... Oh, you're a two... Oh, it's a giant female. It's only a level 60. But, okay, stop attacking it. That does mean I should be able to tame it with ease. If it gets nice and hungry quickly, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Damn, this thing's a big old fella though. Where did that little dude go? Because like now I kind of want to like see what he's all about. Were you a low level as well? Or were you, yeah, level 80, a little baby one. Wait, was that an alpha? Hold on, I, I swear it said alpha. I can't tame alphas yet, by the way, but... It'd be really good for experience. Um, it is an alpha. This thing will annihilate me if given the opportunity. Um, okay, let's just let's just let's just keep it back. Keep it back. Keep it back. Keep it back. Stay back. Um, please die. I need the levels. Yes. Or fall asleep. I don't care. Do whatever you want to do. Just just don't kill me. <laughs> Basically, that's that's my one and only ask. My uh, one and only request. All right. An alpha surely will nap us a few levels. And hopefully with these few levels, we'll be able to grab this supply drop in front of us. And, um, my goodness, how much health has this thing got? Either I'm not dealing much damage or this thing is just loaded with health. It's probably the, the second option. Let's be real with ourselves here. This is a better view of what's going on. So let's just zoom out and please incoming like three levels. Sorry, just got a little bit. It's got a little bit worried of the giant pteranodon currently flying around us. So, eight levels! <laughs> well, hey, ask and you shall receive, I guess. Except, ask and you shall receive three times what you asked for. What are we going to do with these levels? I think some melee damage is going to be great. I think some health, for sure. And then, I think some movement speed, so I can actually outrun some of my enemies. I think that would be fantastic. And now that we're level 19... With 100% certainty, I'm pretty sure. Maybe only 50% certainty. I'm pretty sure I can access this. Nice. Mm, that's pretty average. But okay, we got a patchy saddle. It's not really going to help us that much yet. But yeah, that's, it's pretty useless as a matter of fact. Um, hey, Listro. Yeah, I'm not going to feed you 100 berries. I'm sorry, buddy. But 
thanks for being a willing team. I wish some of these other guys were a little bit more willing, but it is what it is. We'll get there. Now, how is my Dilo going over here? Is he eating any of the meat that I supplied him with? Oh, she is. She is indeed. Okay. I don't know if she's had one or two or what, but it's a start. Um, where is your food? All right. So he's going to eat another one in a sec. I guess I'm interested in seeing if it goes up to 88% or 66. 55. Well, I was wrong on both accounts. He's eating five pieces of meat. She needs to eat five more. So I'm going to take a step back and I'm going to let her do that. Um, trike. Assuming you are just a regular trike. No, you're a fabled trike. I like the like little pink glow on it. That looks so beautiful. Um, yeah, I can't do anything with that. It won't attack me, but I also can't tame it. So there's no point in me going anywhere near it. Okay, let's get some fiber. Let's get some resources and let's set up a little bit of a camp now that I think most of the threats in the area have either been evaded or just or just ignored. We're just going to ignore most of the threats around this place because no thanks, basically. That's, that's really all there is to it. That's an alpha though. That will attack me. But then again, it's a Morella Tops. And if I've learned anything while currently recording my next 100 days survival in Ark, it's that Morella Tops on their own do not want to battle. They run away. Unless you find them in a pair, then they will fight back and destroy you. <laughs> you guys will know what I'm talking about soon. Well, not soon, but it's on the way. Don't worry. All right, let's get a little bit more stone. And let's have a look at what we have access to now. I know we can definitely get our hands on a bow. So let's grab a bow. I feel like that'd be actually another bowler. Let's grab a bowler. Um, let's grab, I said a bow. What am I missing for a bow? Fiber. I need 15 more fiber. All right, we'll get a bow. We'll get some arrows. Then at least we can actually fight something from a distance without getting too close to it and annihilated by it in seconds. And I feel like that'd be a nice little, nice little, you know, that'd be nice <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. Also, there's a shovel here. A gardening shovel. Um, interesting. I've never seen this before. Must be a new addition to one of these mods. Coolies. We got access to hide armor. Man, we have access to a bunch of stuff already. That is what I like to see. All right. I think we're going to set up. I'm going to need some more fiber. But we're going to set up a little bit of a, uh, a base. We're going to set up a little bit of a beach site. A little bit of a beach house. Somewhere for us to camp the night out. Even though it's still daytime. But... You know what I mean. We need somewhere to leave. We need somewhere to set up. We need somewhere to call home. Right now, our home is sand and dirt and some bushes and death. <laughs> Lots of death. It's the only familiar thing that this world has. And yo, we've got a team. It's only level 76. But we've got us a big old Dilo. And unfortunately, it can't be ridden. But you're going to come with me, you giant old thing. And I'm going to name you. I'm going to wait for a name to pop into my head. A really creative one. It's going to be fantastic. When it, when it eventually, when my brain eventually, my brain, I'm not coming up with nothing, guys. I got no names. I got nothing. Um, maybe it's best we don't name you. Mm, if I name you, it's likely that you're going to die. You will die if I name you. So I'm not going to name you. I am, though, going to leave it to you guys in the comments. Let me know down below what we should call our Dilo here. And um, I'm going to name it if it's still alive by the time I decide to do it. Hey, you. Dilo, go on and take this chiller back for me. Or don't. Why am I come on? Why, why can't I say attack this thing? Attack it. Ah, there we go. Yeah. I have no idea how much damage this Dilo deals, but probably not much since it is such a low level. Um, I should really help it out. Um, you know what? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. Stop. 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 No, don't passive flee. Just, just passive. I will do what I got to do. Pwah. And hopefully it dies quickly. I'd like the Kitan from it. The Kitan might actually be pretty good at getting some like nice armor sorted right this second. All right. Well, we break our hatchet. Um, that's not ideal. But I do have a bow and arrow. I don't know actually what we're better off doing here. I might, might as well just stick to the, the pickaxe. Come on. Look at him. He's like all blood. There's nothing left to him. Legit. This thing can't survive much longer. There we go. All right. <laughs> And we managed to get a good amount of chitin from it. I'll take it. That's enough to hopefully get some uh, some gear going, I reckon. Have we unlocked chitin armor yet? We haven't, but I'm sure we will in a second. Um, foundations, though. Let's build some. I, can, I can't get much. 
but I can get two thatch. No, I can only get one thatch foundation. Oh, that is so disappointing. Um, that's fine. That's cool. We'll uh, we'll go and gather some more resources. <laughs> Come here, my little unnamed Dialo, before you go and get eviscerated by some some seagulls. These stinking itchy thornuses, man. They're pesky old, old dudes. All right, that should be enough to get us. This trike ain't about to attack me. Good. Whew. He kind of like bobbed his head for a second. Oh my goodness. All right, I can't get this yet. No, that's a primal food cooker. That's not what I thought it was. I'm looking for this thing. This is what I'm looking for. I need me Oh my goodness. All right, we're nowhere near able to get that. Never mind. All right, I clearly don't know what I'm talking about. But hey, we got foundations and I'm going to go and place them down here by the by the water edge because why not it means like there's only one angle i can get attacked from and it's it's this way so that the closer i am to like nothing it's probably the better there we go we're gonna call this home for today it's not much of a home but it's it's all i got okay it's all i got i'm trying my best here guys <laughs> all right let's get a storage box that way I can at least drop a bunch of this stuff. Um, it's a shame we're so far from resources. I'm going to have to find some crystal or some metal or some something. Especially because, well, we're going to need we're gonna need it. That's really all there is to it. What more, what more of a reason do I need to, to, to share? Uh, but we are going to need a smithy and a, for, a forge soon. So let's probably focus on that right this. I can't. Really? Hold on. I can get a primal smithy that requires metal ingots, by the way. But I can't smelt the metal ingots because I need to be level 20 to get the forge. What? Unless there's like another way to smelt metal that I don't know about. Like due to one of the mods or something, then I have lost the plot. Interesting. That's actually that's actually interesting. I, I never realized the primal smithy was obtainable at a lower level than... Well, yeah, being able to actually get metal. That's, that. yeah, fair enough. Okay, well, that's fine. That is a-okay. We just go and get some levels then, I guess. Um, Dodo, you're a big old beast. I'm going to put you to sleep. And I don't really care if you die or fall asleep, but either way, you're dying, unfortunately, for you. Or, no, we're not going to tame it. Or are we? I actually, oh, it's a male. Never mind. We will actually need some dinosaurs to lay us eggs. Um, this one, if it was a female, probably would have tamed it. But no, it's not. So we're going to kill it. The reason we do need that, though, is because once we get dinosaur eggs, uh, we can turn that into toxic kibble. And with toxic kibble, we can tame toxic dinosaurs. And then once we get toxic dinosaurs, we can climb the chain and eventually get alphas and apexes and all that fun stuff. Um, how many levels did I get from that? Just the one. All right, well, we didn't we didn't do amazing that time around in the level department, but we are level 20, which means I can get a forge. Yes, that works out perfectly. Oh, I, I had no idea we were level 19. So we need hide, stone, and wood. Well, let's get some hide, stone, and wood. Look at this guy. What are you doing here? Also, what are you? Are you just a regular Megalodon? Oh, it's an alpha. I see those eyes. I see those glowing. It might even be a toxic. Either ways. Um, no, thank you very much. Uh, yes, I'm terrified of that tech quetzal over there, in case you're wondering. That there is, like, certain death. If he flies over here, uh, we're getting sent back to the Shadow Realm, baby. Uh, <laughs> gosh, those guys are ridiculously aggressive, which is why I'm a little nervous right now. Um, yes, that's bad. This is... Please, please, please don't, like... This is one of those moments I'm really serious. I don't want you coming near this beach. Oh, no. I told you these guys are aggressive. Oh, this is so bad. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. There's no way I'm surviving this. Go to the water. Go to the water. To the water. Come on. We were so close. Oh, I did not think he was going to hunt me down. I really didn't think he was going to hunt me down like that. But in good news... I think we've spawned pretty close to a like the fastest itchy thornus the world's ever seen. What? Um, we at least spawned like right next to our stuff. So that's nice. Except we also spawned really close to the Tramal Tech quest. So leave me alone, please. I just can't catch a break. Okay. Well, Primal Tech dude, he's um moved up the beach a little bit, so that's that's nice. Um I'm going this way. I don't even know. Oh, my stuff's right here. 
Oh, my dead body's down here. Oh, we actually spawned like right on top of our stuff. That actually works out amazingly. Especially because one of the few resources we needed to get our forge so we can get our metal is hide. But that's a fabled triceratops, which means it's going to give me fabled hide. I didn't think that through. But he might have loot on him, actually. He does. Oh, 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 excuse me? um look i might have harshly judged the primal tech quest so uh he actually uh, i think he was just trying to help us out just um had to you know pretend he was just playing the long con didn't want to make all pick on the creator the boss of this world suspicious but um he has dealt us an insane hand right here <laughs> what in the world <laughs> um it's a shame it's all blueprints these are insane blueprints though. Uh, we got some experience potions. We've got, we got narcotics. We've got, uh, we got a spare pickaxe if we want that. We also got a, a, a pistol. Do I have any ammunition for this? Hold on. Oh my goodness, we do. Oh, how many, I've only got two bullets. Oh, I want to test it out, but I don't even, I don't even have damage indicators on. So I, I can't actually work out what we get for. for... Thank you very much. Okay. What else did he kill? Because um, he's clearly wiping out the beach currently and leaving behind a, an insane trail of loot. <laughs> what even is happening? Yeah, I'm not going to go any further in that direction. Uh, dude, we just hit the absolute jackpot. I have any... <clears throat> All right, no, I, I don't think I think I don't think he was intending to help us. I, I, yeah, no, I think it was a complete another accident, actually. Lovely. This is a real toxic relationship we have here, old Tech Quetzal. I I, I don't know how feel, how to feel about it. He's really keeping me on the edge, though, isn't he? Um, I need my stuff back now. But also, this beach is just out of bounds. There is nothing safe about this beach anymore. He's descending again. How has he not killed my Dilo, by the way? Have I just jinxed everything? Have I just have I just done that? Is he gonna come and loot back and take out my dial? Actually, if he leaves spawn, if he leaves like the load range right this second, we might actually have an opportunity here. Hold on, let me just. This is my body, right? And I can hear an itchy coming for me. Nope, wrong body. Yes, fly away, fly away, old Quetzal. Yes, <laughs> he's left the beach. He's left us. I knew he loved me. I knew he didn't want to really harm I, I i knew it i knew it i knew it let me go and shoot something to make myself happy bam i think i missed the target there is a bunny over here though let me go and get that instead hello little bunny bam bam quetzal not quetzal itchy thornus go away hey bunny bam I, I really suck at shooting that's what you get for not being american um cool so what do we got here we got some we got some really good stuff unfortunately i just need the the resources to craft a lot of it which we uh, we got a while to go before we get a lot of this, but my goodness, blueprint city up in here! Go away, please, go away, please, go away, please! Don't mind me. Gonna go. This Dara is too quick for me, man. I actually can't get away from him. Um, please go away. How's that little? All right, this is like an instant rock smashing pickaxe we've got ourselves here. Nice. Not my. We actually don't get much resources for it. He couldn't have hooked me up with a hatchet, though, way. Eh? Hatchet would have been absolutely incredible, but I guess it wasn't meant to be. But um, hey, resources. So that's 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 nice. Oh no, what's attacked you, buddy? Rudolph, what's going on, mate? Rudolph. Oh, the Quetzal's coming back for more. No Quetzal. Oh. Oh no. Um. Well, Rudolph just died, and brought here with him a crazed. Psycho monkey, chainsaw wielding monkey. Hey Quetzal, if you wanna swoop down right this second and and kill the the giant clown chainsaw monkey, that would be lovely. Um, especially because I get chainsaws if you do that. So Quetzal, <laughs> please come back. You can kill me in the process. I really don't care, but just take the monkey with me. This is bad. Uh, yeah, this place is no longer safe. Not that it ever was or ha ever has been, but now more than ever. I, I would really like the Quetzals to come down and just wipe this beach out one more time. All right, let's get a bed placed because it's only a matter of time before I need hide. Uh, hold on. Can I get hide from my dead body? I'm pretty sure I can't. But if I... Yeah, no, it's just raw meat. Dang it. 
If I could get some, I could get a bed. If I can get a bed, then I can at least respawn right on top of my base. And that would be fantastic. If I could get to, what is that? Oh, that's the Morella tops over there. It's okay. I thought it was like the top of a T-Rex. Kind of had a little mini heart attack. Um, Hey, chainsaw dude. Just, just leave me alone while I harvest Rudolph, please. Um, yeah, let's just go. That was... For real? Like what? <laughs> For real? Like, like what? Ah, well, that's that, I guess. And I've spawned nowhere near my base, which is just absolutely incredible. Guys, this has been... This is not going well. This is not going well. I don't even know what this is anymore, but uh, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna call it a day right here. Um, what just happened here? I have no idea why that's glowing, but there was a glowing dodo that just died as well. I, I have no, I, I, well, I, 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 look, this, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what's going on anymore. This guy's nearly dead and I really want to see what's in this bag. You know what? It's worth the risk. It was a spirit. <laughs> it killed a spirit dodo. What? Oh, it's all ammos again. Go away, little dialogue. Guys, um, I'm going to I'm gonna try and get this stuff back to base. But we're going to call this one right here. Tomorrow, I think we're going to do something. Probably probably much like today and yesterday and every other day around here. But um, I'm getting... Oh, here comes the Parasaur again. Well, wish me luck. I'll see you guys tomorrow with another failure of a day. But I think it's pretty safe to say this series is an absolute chaotic one. Uh, yeah, I'm going to die. Well, come on, Parasol. Sign it off with me. Let's go. <sighs> See you later, guys. Bye. For now. And another thanks to War Thunder, the sponsor of today's video. If you want to be a part of the ultimate vehicle warfare experience, hop down to the description and download the game. Make sure you don't miss out on this wonderful bundle.